Hey everyone, Nathan here from JS Power Sports, and today I'm going to show you how to test the charging system on a jet ski. Happen to be on a crash jet ski for this one here, and I'm going to put uh, my multimeter on the 20 volt DC scale, not AC, DC, and we're going to hook up a negative terminal here on the battery, and I'm going to try to hold this positive one here on the positive terminal so that we can get a reading and show you guys how this works. Now, basically put you got a stator down here and a flywheel, which is kind of like an alternator in a car, but nowhere near as powerful. So just a, you know, minor amounts of power get put out of this thing. And um, it goes to a voltage regulator, which is usually buried in the back here somewhere. And that prevents it from overcharging or um, overpowering any of the electronic circuits and burning them up. Now, most of the voltage regulators will probably run somewhere between like 12.6 and about 14.4 volts. And so anything over that could start to get uh, dangerous and uh, you'd need to replace your voltage regulator if that happens. Um, here, so here's our meter. We're sitting at 13.3 volts in this really good anti-gravity um, battery that we have in here. And a lot of your batteries will be sitting, especially if it's lead acid, 12 to 12.6 volts. Now what I'm going to do is start this thing up and this voltage will drop down when it starts but then we're going to see it slowly start to charge back up and that's what we're looking for. It's not a lot, but we just need that steady charge going back into it. And uh, I did hook up the garden hose for this because it does take a few seconds to run this. So that's how we're going to do it. And of course, I'm going to struggle with one arm here trying to do everything, but here we go. Power on. And I'm going to hit start button here and turn the hose on. And that's it. As you saw, it started to raise the voltage back up, and that's what we wanted. So we know we have a good charging system in here. Now, if you, any of your components are bad, the stator can be tested individually with the coils. Um, and if you've ever had a, a, a broken Bendex fly around down in here or something, it can obviously knock out a stator. Um, so, but the stator, voltage regulator, batteries, and so on, all these parts are available on our website, jspowersports.com. Just look us up, and if you like the content of the video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you much.